Lewicki Marcin Info Music, stanowisko Gitar Dean. Po mojej lewej przedstawiciel ten fir tej firmy, który opowie nam teraz o nowościach, które w tym roku przewieźli ze sobą na te targi. Hi! How you doing? Hey, please tell us something about the new guitars we can see here. Let's start with that one. Okay. Absolutely. This is a new guitar that we're doing. This is the Vendetta series guitar. The Vendettas always have a 3 and 3 headstock with this unique headstock shape on the front here. The guitar is basically 499 street American dollars. Um, it has one volume, one tone. It's a mahogany body, string through, two pneumatic bridge. This comes all the way through to the back. All axis heel joint, right there on the guitar. It's a 24 fret dual octave, rosewood fingerboard. Uh, and the artwork was designed by a gentleman named Stefan Jensen out in the States who does a clothing line called Warren Star Clothing. He does a lot of work with us and a really good guy and some really cool artwork that he does. What about the pickups? The pickups are DMT designed. We have them specially wound overseas to our specs to keep the price point down. So they're based off of our time capsule pickups in the United States. So, you know, they're, very, they're pretty hot pickups. Um, I would say probably more near like a Duncan Distortion kind of uh, guitar pickup. Uh, it's a simple three-way toggle switch, one volume, one tone. You know, some cool inlays. Jumbo frets, which is big for all of our guitars. We're putting jumbo frets on everything now, um, except for the Dave Mustaine guitars that we do medium thin on. And it's just a cool utilitarian guitar, and it's been doing pretty good for us this year. So yeah, simple, good looking, hot looking. Yeah, it's called the Vendetta Teatro de la Muerte, Theater of the Dead. However you want to say that. So it's pretty good. Repeat that. Sorry. <laughs> it's not going to happen, huh? So, doing well for us this year. Move on to the Dave Mustaine's new signature model. Oh yeah, uh, we uh, again the same graphic artist that does the Teatro de la Muerte. Also does um, some of our Dave Mustaine guitars. He uh, he did our Angel of Death, our Angel of Death 2 that we did last year, and he's now doing the Zero. This is the In Death We Trust guitar. This is a new graphic. Yeah. Yeah, were those uh, uh, Dave's ideas or no? Yeah, well, you know what? It's it's it, Dave approves everything that we do. Mm -hmm. So uh, Stefan will come up with some ideas. We tell him what we're looking for graphic-wise, and he's really good with it. So he'll come up and he'll send us like a dozen ideas. We show him the Dave. Dave picks out the ones he likes and makes his suggestions. Like, you know, an idea for Dave. We showed him this, and he's like, "Well, I want it to look like it's a burned dollar bill." So we add in the, you know, Stefan will add in the burn marks and so forth. And um, Vic Rattlehead, I think we've only we've had him on a couple guitars but this is the first time that we've only used his head put his name down here has the in death we trust just a cool looking design on uh, David's zero body shape the pickups are again Duncan design pickups they're not active they're passive pickups most of David guitar have his Seymour Duncan active pickups in them uh, these are passive to keep the price down uh, rosewood fingerboard again medium threat frets on these tied in the graphic on the headstock with mini Grover tuners Dave's silhouette on the back, yeah. um, and his his specced D-shaped neck, which is Dave's thin specked D-shaped neck, and that's really about it. It's you know string through body. It's very affordable, and it's a really good constructed guitar. It plays really fast action on it. Again, David has his uh, bridge volume here, neck volume here, three-way toggle switch, and one master tone. I don't think he ever uses the master tone, that's why he keeps it so far away. He's like, I just, just put it all the way over there, I don't want to deal with it. Who uses it? Come on. What's that? Who uses it? Nobody uses tone, just don't, it's just one volume, that's all you need, you know? Too many bells and whistles. That one looks really hot. It was great, Michael B Angelo Badio came up to me this year and uh, he was like, I want to I wanna do a seventh string, you know? And, and, and Michael's, he's like, I want to learn how to play that seventh string on a guitar. So he wanted to do a seven string guitar, so this is what we did for him. Uh, it's called the Warrior, the MAB7 Warrior Armor Flame. I think it's just, just the Warrior, I can't even remember. We got so many guitars for you now, Mikey, but this is the first seven string that we're doing. It's got a Floyd Rose 1000 tremolo system on it. One volume, one tone, three way pickup switch, EMG 707 active pickups, uh, ebony fingerboard, 24 fret, again, jumbo frets tied in the headstock design here. And what about the artwork? And this is signed by him. The artwork, again, done by Stefan Jensen, who did our other two models. I really like, you know, we've been working with Stefan for a long time, and he does really good work, and he's very easy to deal with. He's a sweetheart of a guy. 
and uh, you know we've been working with him for years now. So I, I commission a lot of work with Steph. Works out fine. Like, yeah, it works out great, and he does some really different stuff. So, but Michael came in and he's like, I love. He loves uh, chain mail and and medieval armor and, and and flames and hot rod flames. So he wanted to see some flames on this guitar. So you have the chain mail. You got the you know. I guess that's Paisley. I don't even know what that is, but it looks cool. Looks cool. Yeah. And then Michael signed all these. So all the ones that we have in stock now are autographed by Michael. He came into our Tampa facility and signed all the guitars. So I think Let's I... Make them uh, more expensive? No. Same price. Same price. So, that's a but, bargain. Yeah. But we only have like 60 of them signed, and I don't know if we've sold them all, but one lucky person out here in Germany is going to get a, a signed Badio guitar for sure, you know? All right, this is the biggest thing that we did this year. This is called the Chicago Series. Now, back in the 70s, uh, obviously, Dean Guitars originated in Chicago in the United States. And he, uh, they all used DiMarzio Cream Cream pickups. Some of them had Cream Black, Zebras, but the Cream Creams are the only pickups. You can only get a Cream Cream from DiMarzio because they licensed the Cream Cream. So we bring him back the DiMarzio picks up in, into the guitars. We did three versions. We did um, MLV and Z for all three of our body shapes. We're doing the Flame Series, which is the upper upper version. I think this is 649 US street price. We mix match the hardware like he did back in the day. Uh, flame maple veneer top, ebony fingerboard with abalone dot inlays. Again, the uh, Duncan, Dis um, not Duncan, DiMarzio uh, Super Distortion Cream Creams. And they're all signified on the back that it's a Flame Series guitar, so you know you're getting the one with the Grover tuners and the ebony fingerboard. Uh, full neck and body binding on this. Doing it in several colors. We're doing it in uh, it's Trans Cherry Sunburst. This is the Flame in the ML. This is a Trans Brazil finish. Again, all the same hardware. You know, ebony fingerboard again with the Chicago series on it, string through body. So we do it MLV. Here's the V. Now this is, again, it's the flame guitar because it has the body binding and the neck binding, and it's got the ebony fingerboard, but we put a maple cap on it. So it's a mahogany body with a maple cap. So in the, in the black, it's a maple cap on there. Again, flame series. And then we did a step down version called the Chicago Standard. So the Chicago Standard, I believe, is 499 or 549 street US dollars. It's a little cheaper. Uh, rosewood fingerboard, pearl dot inlays, only in the neck binding, no body binding on it. But again, same with the DiMarzio pickups. And there's simpler colors. So this is all mahogany. This is a trans cherry. And this is the Z again, no body binding on it, but rosewood fingerboard. And this is the um, classic black, obviously. And then we're doing it in gloss natural. So you can get any body shape, ML, V, or Z, in any one of the colors, as long as it's black, gloss natural, trans cherry, TBZ. So there's an array of finishes. So this is new for us this year. It's doing really well for us. Um, also, it has a, uh, a V neck profile on it, like the old guitars. Um, yeah, pretty much went back to the vintage specs. We took the CAD files from the files from the Tampa facility and made them up like we do the USA time capsules and the old Chicago series guitars. So it's very exciting for us to bring back some of the vintage shapes because we kind of stepped away from it for a little bit, you know, with the Razorbacks and all the other crazy stuff we were doing. So we wanted to give some homage to where we originated from and go back with the Chicago series. So that's what's new for 2013. Thank you very much for that.